UFC bantamweight division fight. All right, well, he's one of the more accomplished Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioners in this division, DC, and I know how many chokes you have in your arsenal. Offensive jiu-jitsu, defensive jiu-jitsu doesn't get much better than this guy. It doesn't get as high level in terms of the jiu-jitsu knowledge. He knows in every exchange that he's the guy that's processing things at a different level, from the armbar submissions that he has shown in the octagon to the beautiful guillotine chokes that he does over and over again. And don't think that he won't roll for a knee bar and get a submission. Right. It's just constant danger when you're in the jiu-jitsu with this guy. And even the high-level wrestlers that he's fought have paused to try to take him down because of that patented guillotine. It's so truly a case of pick your poison with this Brazilian jiu-jitsu practitioner. Well, in terms of moving all needles, I'm not sure too many guys do it better than the former UFC Bantamweight champion Cody Garbrandt. Certainly has fallen on some hard times recently, but skill for skill, still one of the best guys in this division. He's one of the best guys in the division, and you feel it. I called this fight down in Los Angeles, and you can feel that little something extra in the air yes. as Garbrandt makes that walk to the octagon. This is a kid that was a state champion in wrestling as a freshman, second as a sophomore, and didn't wrestle anymore because he wanted to focus on boxing. A A-plus athlete who has done it all in all sports and has the mental ability and the physical ability to once again compete for a UFC title. Some will knock his fighting style when the going gets a little bit tough, but he is as exciting as any bantamweight in the world and looking to prove again that he is among this division's elite. Our tale of the tape for this bantamweight fight. Both fighters 29 years of age with similar height and some differences in reach. To get us started, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out United Center in Chicago, Illinois. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC Bantamweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet nine inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Glendale, Arizona, USA Assassin. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 13 wins, five losses. He stands five feet eight inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Sacramento, California, Cody No Love All right, the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to the corner. Come out you ready? Are you ready? All right, so here we go with round one. Seems to be a throwback type of matchup here. The classically trained striker taking on the Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt. But BJJ black belt with this guy doesn't even begin to describe his credentials. It does not describe how good he is. His vast knowledge of all the Jiu-Jitsu positions. This guy, once you're on the ground, there is no place where you are safe. You are constantly getting attacked. He's always throwing up submissions. He's always attacking arms. He's always attacking your neck doing everything to try and make you think submission's coming, even if it's just to change position to secure top. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain. The finish could come at any time. Big punch land. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Nice body kick. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Big knee lands right through the 
five, six. Takedown defense holds up. Big elbow there, lands. Knee to the body. Oh, straight right. Oh, and there's that head kick. He kept talking about the opening that would be there on Thursday. Those words proven prophetic right there. I mean, his vision and his timing allows him to get that technique off. Ooh, blocks the shot. Can't take many of those, you better check. They continue to exchange. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Trying to establish that jab once again. Oh! All right, under three minutes now to go in round one. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Garbrandt going for the leg kick, he misses. Oh, that's a nice strike. So just over 20 total strikes have now landed for Cody Garbrandt. Oh, Superman punch. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. And here he is back in familiar territory in the clinch. Two minutes to go in round one. What a punch. Well, if you're going to leave your body that wide open, you're going to pay the price, and he certainly did there as his opponent lands flush to the midsection. How good is that right hand? Well, you know, Cody Garbrandt's uncle, Robert Meese, there in the corner has got to like what he's seeing out of his nephew's stand-up here tonight. Well, single collar tie here. And they separate. Oh, that straight punch knocked his head in the wrong direction. Really putting his opponent on notice. They need more out of you. Yeah. Don't plant your feet. Footwork, footwork. Just missed with the left there. Oh. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was good night if that landed. That's a big strike right there. Big leg kick land. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. 30 seconds now to go in round one. Focus. 20 seconds to go. Nice jab there by Cody Garbrandt. DC didn't take him long to find his range here tonight, huh? His timing is on point. 10 seconds to go. Big ball for land. That will get back to range. Well, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC, and uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding, and look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent, and as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. You need to snap out of it. You're taking too much damage. Yourself. All right, so after he landed a high number of kicks okay, in the previous round, two. we'll see ready? if he can keep it going here as our next round gets under. He should stay the course. He's so educated with his legs and his feet that he's given his opponent a very difficult time trying to anticipate what's coming his way. Head kick. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Just out of range with that right hand. Oh, 
And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Single collar tie now. Well, it's one thing to have length, it's another thing to use it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Cody Garbrandt. Superman punch. Big punch man over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab, he may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that it's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into the strikes. Straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. He's doing a really good job of getting on that high crotch and just following the action. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Right to side control, yep. Well, you see all the grappling repetitions here. Just beautiful movement, seamless transitions on the ground. Over and over, these guys are doing things that you see in every jiu-jitsu gym around the country. A lot of top pressure being applied here as he works out of side control. Well, he's in a compromising spot here, DC. You gotta figure out a way to get back to your feet. He's having his way with him here. All right, he's got the hooks in, DC working off of his back. Now look for him to attack the neck of his opponent to try to get the rear choke. Oh, back up again, you can't hold a good man down. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A Little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. Hey, finally gets the takedown. It wasn't for any lack of effort, but finally that shot was good enough to get his opponent down. I don't know how many times, John, I could have watched this guy shoot takedown as him without securing one. It's almost like out of pity. You feel good for him to finally get it done. Now what does he do with this top control? Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Scramble and go! Scramble Side control go. now. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop you got to defend. But you can see him now starting to gain posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. All right, side control now. 30 seconds to go. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Cody Garbrandt. Sound strike on the ground. 15 seconds. All oh, the ground and pound strikes continue to rain down. The opponent better move out of harm's way or the referee's gonna stop this. Thing. He better start to move. And when his opponent starts to posture, he needs to put his feet on the hip, push him away to try to escape this very, very dangerous position. Well, he had a lot more than a puncher's chance coming in. Big knockdown for him in the previous round. DC talked to Sudhada. He got in his opponent's face, landed that big punch that put his opponent flat on his back. He couldn't get the finish, but if he lands one more time just like that, he will get the victory.
Third round underway. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Well, we wondered earlier why there weren't as many body strikes. He's making up for lost time here. Shot to the body connects, and that bears watching. That's going to hurt this opponent. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Oh, beautiful jab there. It's one thing to have length. Of course, it's another to use it effectively. Beautiful job with that jab. Takedown defense. That double leg attempt looked like it might be good. He wasn't having it. He blocks the punch. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to avoid that right hand. Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Back to the jab now, no good. Takedown lands. Close guard. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Cody Garbrandt. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Garbrandt's right torso starting to bruise pretty good here. Just reached the midpoint of the fight. Under two minutes to go in round three. Trying to pass here, Ooh, but gets denied. Gets denied. Great job, great recognition of seeing what your opponent was trying to do. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Working off of his back here. Looks like he may try to hip escape. Ooh, all right, he's got the full mount now, DC, and he has proven to be a hard guy to buck off from this position. Oh, because he's so heavy. He keeps his weight down. He really does grind on you with his, with his bottom half. He doesn't do anything with his arms. His arms are free to punch. He's collecting you with his hips and his legs, making you make a determination as to whether or not you want to get grounded upon into the mat or if you're going to give your back up where he will then start to chase chokes. A lot of energy expenditure defensively if you are the bottom fighter in this equation. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes on your opponent. All right, so he's got the body locked down here, DC, or so it appears. This is not a guy you want anywhere near your back. How fun is this to watch as he continues to dole out damage with the ground and pound? 
Take it back to the days of guys like Mark Coleman just beating people up in the ground and pound. This guy is a throwback fighter and he's very fun to watch. Yeah, the godfather would be proud. Let's get back out here and work on that cut. Deep breath and relax. There's a lot of blood. The cuts are open good. Breck wants to stop this fight, but you're not going to let him. All right, so here we go with our next round. DC, you are known for having one of the higher fight IQs in the game, and I would put him on that list after what we saw in terms of the body work there in the previous one. He did a fantastic job of mixing up his target, not in her, going to the body, making that investment into forcing a mistake later that will allow him to chase his victory. These are bad. Trying to stay in this fight. Garbrandt's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do with it. Stuff to take down, no problem. And they separate. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, he might be out. Wow. Back to the feet. Oh, collar tie. Slipped that offering from his opponent. Whoa! And just like that, the fight is over. He got him! Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighters saw it coming, so a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. Well, what a moment for this fighter here tonight. A massive knockout on the sport's biggest stage. Seminal moment for that fighter tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliano has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 15 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by knockout, Cody Nolan! All right, so there he is, the man of the hour. What a massive knockout for him to get this win in style tonight. He did everything he needed to do to find the knockout. Now he can celebrate with his family and friends as they earn this spectacular victory.